In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Star Wars, the vintage collection Han Solo in Endor reissue figure. Hi there, Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. As I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be taking a look at the Star Wars, the vintage collection Han Solo in his Endor gear. We're gonna be comparing him against the original one that came out back in 2010, 2011. And we're also gonna be comparing him against the 3.75 inch black series version, which you can see here. All of them are slightly different to each other. And I must apologize now, I can't compare him against the original vintage saga collection version because he's in my loft packed away somewhere and I could not find him for the life of me. So we've only got the three to compare, but I think that's a good enough thing to compare and let's get into this. All right then, so first off, let's get Bosk out of the way. And first of all, we're gonna be comparing just the card backs. So here is the new one, the VC62. He is part of that new reissue wave or specialty wave, whatever they wanna call it. He comes with the Luke Skywalker Hoth, the Admiral Akbar, and the Emperor's Royal Guard. I will have reviews for all of those at some point on the channel in the future, but today we're gonna to be taking a look at Han Solo Endor. Now, as I said, he is VC62, exactly the same as the original VC62, but you can see the differences on the card backs. The new ones are all black with a few pictures of figures and mostly just a load of gump at the bottom. Now this one looks like the foreign, maybe Canadian card, because it's got the multi-language name pill there. Now you could also get this figure on a Revenge of the Jedi card back. So all in all, there's probably like four different card backs for this, not including like variants and everything. So you've got the original Vintage Saga collection one, you've got this one, the Return of the Jedi. You also have him on the Revenge of the Jedi, and now we have him on this reissued card here. You can see there the cards are pretty much the same. This one has a bit more color to it, not so sort of washed out, but that is about it. The main difference is the figure. So if we look at the figure on the new one, his coat is completely different color to this coat. And he also has the photo real paint deco on the head. So let's just take a closer look at these if we can get them close to the camera. So there you go. Often what happens when they do the photo reel on an older figure, an older sculpt, it doesn't really do it justice, but we're gonna be opening this guy up in a minute and we're gonna be comparing them. But um, I don't unfortunately have the vintage collection Han Solo loose, but I do have the 3.75 inch black series version, which came out in the red and black boxes. So that's him there. Now you can see here that this coat here, again, they changed it. So this coat is completely different to this coat. So if we get this one, this one doesn't even have the pockets sewn in. Now I actually preferred this coat when I saw this one. It's also a different material. And I know it's not as screen accurate because it should have the pockets. Because you can see Han Solo with his hands in his pockets there. But um, I don't know, I just preferred that coat. But the figure underneath is exactly the same. So there's your two card backs. You can see that the all three figures are different. And of course the Vintage Saga Collection one was different as well. So. Let's get this one out of the way. We don't need to see that one anymore. We'll put him there because we're gonna open this guy up and we're gonna compare the figures. All right, so here's the figure outside the packaging and there you go, you can get a really good look at the head sculpt and the photo reel paint deco. You can make your own mind up whether it's any good. The head sculpt actually, it's an old head sculpt of course, but it is, isn't actually too bad. I mean, when I look at him like that, I can, I can see Harrison Ford. Not so much at the front, but definitely at that point there, I can see him. Now, obviously the main difference between this one and previous releases is the coat, and you'll see the stark difference when I bring them both in shot. Now, <laughs> it's difficult to sort of work out which one is the most screen accurate. I think it's probably somewhere in between the two. This one's very gray, it is camo. You can see there is camo, so there's different grays on there. Whereas this one's really sort of, you know, tanned, with little bits of brown on there and stuff like that. So this one's all gray with darker gray and this one's like a tan, but there you go. I think they have improved the head. This one's rather shiny as well. They've toned that down slightly, but it is exactly the same figure underneath. And of course this is a very old sculpt. And you know, as I say, this is what the fourth time pretty much we've had this figure now, which is pretty unbelievable. But if you haven't got this figure already, then of course, it is one that you want to pick up for your Endor setup. We're getting the Luke Skywalker Endor figure as part of the 50th anniversary for Lucasfilm. We've already had Leia, she's up on the channel, that review already. So if you've already pre-ordered those figures, then you're going to want this one for your setup if you don't already have him for your, you know, for your Endor setup. 
I do have an affiliate link for Entertainment Earth to pre-order him um, in the description below if you do so want to do that. But there he is. So let's let's take the jacket off and check the figure out from underneath. As I said before, it is an older sculpt. So let's check that out now. So here he is without the coat on. And yeah, you can see straight away that, you know, we definitely need a new Han Solo. And unfortunately, he's just so skinny at the waist. The belt is a separate piece and it sort of just hangs down too far because it's just too loose for his, you know, skinny little waist there. Apart from that, I mean, it's it's an OK. You know, he's got plenty of articulation. He's got ball jointed shoulders and elbows. Unfortunately, he only has swivel wrists. So he doesn't have a hinge at the wrist. The hands are pretty old as well. He doesn't have a trigger finger or anything like that. He does have a, a decent waist movement swivel hips ball jointed knees and a hinge at the ankle with a, with a swivel so you know it's not too bad in terms of articulation he hasn't got you know just swivel elbows or anything drastic like that but it is an older hand solo sculpt and it does need an update but there you go that head there harrison ford for me at that point there just not so much there in fact i think that just there is the best angle for him now the 3.75 inch black series version, I definitely preferred this jacket to the one that came in the vintage collection. The one with the vintage collection, I'd never liked the collar on it. You can see there, it's more like a dressing gown. It looks like he's just had a bath. Whereas that one looked a lot better, but it did miss the pockets. Whereas now this one, they've kind of fixed it all round. They've got rid of the big collar, as you can see, opting for the smaller collar, but they have put the pockets back onto the jacket. It's just whether we think that this color is more accurate or not now of course if you did have the 3.75 inch black series version and you preferred this version but you prefer that head i'm pretty sure you can just pop this head off and replace it with the new one and there you go you can see the difference in skin tone between the head and the neck on that one that's the problem it doesn't really fit but if you preferred that or you could just change the coats simple as that really the blaster isn't great it's got to be said very bendy piece of plastic uh, not too much detail on there no weathering whatsoever it's just a little black piece of plastic which isn't great so there you go then guys that is the Han Solo from Endor or in his trench coat and actually that's one thing to note about the card backs is that the original vintage collection one was called Han Solo in trench coat whereas the new one is called Han Solo Endor so there you go that's slightly different as well. So I hope you've had a good look at the comparisons between the new one, the black series, the original vintage collection one. Sorry, I didn't have that loose. And of course, if you want to go back all the way to 2006, then you've got the vintage saga collection one as well. Okay then guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like down below if you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and we shall see you on the next one.